Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I haven't done one of these in forever, but um, you guys voted on Instagram and you picked Q&A and it's just taking me a while to film it. I got questions also on on Instagram so I'm gonna be answering those um, I have a little bit of wine we just got back from dinner there's a little light coming in still cuz it gets darker much later here in Cali but um, let's jump into your questions before we start though I want to let you guys know you can see I talk with my hands so much but before we start I want to let you guys know that if you are new to my channel hello my name is dream I am a Southern California mama of two um, I live here here with my husband. We are both two full-time working parents. I work at a school and administration. Um, before that, I taught for many years and um, I started making YouTube videos a few years ago just to share my journey with motherhood. I make a lot of cleaning videos, organizing, hauls, all of that kind of fun mom content. So if that's your jam, make sure you um, check out my channel and subscribe if you like it. But let's jump into the questions that you guys ask. The first one is, hold on, um, who is your celebrity crush? And I am 38, by the way. I actually will be 39 by the time you guys are watching this video. So knocking on 40's door. But my celebrity crush, I've had three in my 38 years of life. Um, the first one was Mark Wahlberg. And I liked him when um, he did like the Calvin Klein ads. I don't know, maybe it was the bad boy persona. I don't know. I always thought he was cute. And he's aged pretty well. Um, he's probably like the same age as I am. But the next one is um, the Captain America guy. I've loved him for some time. I think he just like, I like him with the darker hair. Just everything about Captain America. That's just my guy. And then the third one would be the late Paul Walker. I always had the biggest crush on him growing up. And that was kind of like my celebrity crush when I was like a teenager. So those are my three, the only crushes, celebrity crushes I have ever really had. I'm not a real um, celebrity fanatic, but those three guys, whoop, they're really attractive. And my hair is doing something weird. But okay, the next question. Um, your favorite movie, and this is probably so basic, but one of my favorite movies is Legally Blonde, and I even like the second one, and I just love it, and Reese Witherspoon, she kind of knocks it out of the park, and I just think it's the cutest movie, and I love the message behind it, um, just everything about it, so it would be Legally Blonde. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your struggle with infertility? I actually have videos about this on my channel, but a long story short, um, in trying to conceive my daughter, Brooklyn, who is currently four years old, it we tried for a year kind of on our own, maybe ch changing our diet, doing different things. Um, that after the first year we went to a fertility clinic um, we had three I think three or four failed IUIs um, an IUI I, is when they I'm like I don't really know the technical terms how to describe it but it's when they trigger they give you a shot to trigger your egg to release and then they put your husband's sperm into um, the uterus and the sperm has to wait for the egg, but we had four of those and they were not a success. Um, our infertility, we are unexplained. So we've had every test under the sun and he checks out well and I check out well. So we never really had an answer about why it was a difficult time for us to conceive. So we're both unexplained. So yeah, we did four of those. They were unsuccessful. And then on our first round of IVF, um, we got pregnant with my daughter. So I have a, a video that explains it in greater detail, but that is the short version of my infertility journey. Well, what show is your guilty pleasure? Um, I love like 
I love like Jersey Shore, just like ratchet TV. And I just love it. I'm not a housewife girl. girl. I haven't watched it in ages. But Jersey Shore, um, I loved that Kristen Cavalieri, her show. I love the New Hills, just kind of like the reality shows that I probably shouldn't be watching at my age, but hey. I'm still watching and all of those people that are in those shows that I name, they're like my age. So I like them. Um, I know they're like, some to some they're like trash TV, but I enjoy them. Let me take a drink. Okay, the next one, um, are you done having kids? And right now in this moment, I will say that we are pretty, we're 100% done with having kids. Um, I have my son, I have my daughter. Um, my heart is filled and I am ready to travel more and to do other things, even though I know you can do all these things when you have young children, but my youngest is four years old, so I'm ready to coast on out and <laughs> move and experience the older stages of life with my daughter like I did with my son, so... I will say that we are pretty sure we are done having kids. Even though I am a person, I absolutely love being pregnant. Like, I think women are the, are the most beautiful when they're pregnant. I just love everything about it. But we're done. <laughs> the next one, um, do you want a family pet? Uh, we did have a dog. Um, his name was Tiger. He was a teacup Yorkie. Um, we had him for a very long time. He passed away when he was 12 and a half years old, two years ago. And um, I think right now I'm still not ready to have a family pet. I was quite devastated just for my son who grew up with this dog and then just for us as a family. It's actually the first dog or cat kind of pet I've ever had growing up. I only had fish, I had a turtle. I did have a bunny for a little bit, but this was kind of like my first serious pet. So for right now, I will say that we do not want a family pet. We want to travel more and we want to do a few things, but in the future, maybe we will get another family pet. It'll probably be a dog. Um, how do you stay in shape? So um, I think a lot of stuff have to do with uh I always say with working out and all of that stuff, it's mostly what you eat and then it is you do need to stay physically active. I am just a person like I have to be physically active in some capacity or I will go crazy. It's for like my mental well-being. So I do work out five days a week. Um, we have gym equipment in our garage. Um, so I may row or go on walks. We have weights and all of those things. So I do light weights. I may do a video on YouTube. So it's nothing the same every day. It's different stuff, but it usually consists of some sort of cardio and then some sort of light weights. And like I said, I do try to work out four to five times a week. It just keeps me sane. <laughs> Um, beauty routine. This one is kind of funny because I barely wash my face, so I don't do much. But a few things that I always use, um, I love, you gotta have, like, whitening your teeth. So I used to use a company from Amazon, but all of a sudden, they, like, stopped making them. So I just use good old Crest White Strips. So I do love white teeth. Um, and another thing, I brought it over here. I love cocoa butter. And as you can see, this is almost all, all gone. I like lather myself from like neck to feet with cocoa butter. So I just like cocoa butter. I've always used it. It helps my skin not stay so dry. And then when I was pregnant, I really used this, but I love the bio oil. And literally when I was pregnant, I would use it from like my neck also to like my knees. But good bio oil is good to help the skin stays, your skin stay moist, to even out your skin tone, just a ton of stuff. So I like bio oil. And then I just started using these, this um, eye 
treatment mask just to use like under the eyes. Um, like I said, I'm a full-time working mom that's just trying to manage it all. Um, some weeks I'm thriving, some weeks I'm barely surviving, so anything that can help, I do. But that is kind of it. I just wash my face with regular soap and water, um, and I don't do anything crazy as far as a beauty routine. Um, what do you do to whiten your teeth? Like I said, I use just Crest White Strips, and they work really well. Um... What do you do? And I said that earlier, I work at a school. Um, if you could live anywhere, where would you live? Um, I was born in Brooklyn, New York. I've actually lived in several states um, growing up as a kid. No, we weren't military. My mom worked for the federal government. So we moved a lot so she could get promotions, but I lived in several states. I currently live in California, but states that I would love, that I've lived in, that I liked, I really like California. I really love California. Um, I love Arizona. I really loved um, Texas. So any of those states I loved when I lived there before, but I would just live anywhere where my family is. So I'm pretty mobile and flexible. I would probably live in just about any state. Maybe not Kansas. Maybe Kansas is great, but driving through, I didn't really see much. But um, yeah, any state I'm open. <laughs> Um, drink of choice and this is actually the last one so my drink of choice would be wine I'm drinking white right now because we don't have any red on hand but I am a red wine girl I am actually such a lightweight so a glass or two your girl is good to go so <laughs> I'm a cheap date but that is it I hope you guys love this fun little q and A. I I loved answering um, some of these questions and um, I hope you guys really like this so if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see everybody with an all-new one very soon bye guys mm -hmm.